Alright, it has been a while since I uploaded, but trust me, you want to stick around for this one. So you guys might know the YouTuber called Buckles. He has over 40,000 subscribers and he is one of the people competing in the net worth war, with over 100 billion coins net worth. He is only behind Swavy who receives a ton of contraband and Deathstreaks who plays the game an unhealthy amount. So how in the hell did Buckles get all those coins? You might think he got all those coins from contraband from his 40,000 subscribers, but I'm fairly sure he did not. So what possibly could he have done to get all those coins? If you thought duping, you're right. So not long ago, he was exposed by many influential people within the Hypixel Skyblock community for duping. One of them being Dreop, his ex-co-op member and his ex-partner for his YouTube channel. Dreop used to co-own the YouTube channel Dreop and Buckles until they got to around 30,000 subscribers, where Dreop agreed to let Buckles take full ownership of the channel as long as Buckles pays Dreop some money. But turns out the money was not sent to Dreop after a prolonged period of time. Not only did he essentially scam Dreop, he also made a bunch of false allegations against Dreop and a couple others of ratting people. So they decided to take action and expose what Buckles did in the past. So in this video, we'll be taking a closer look at what exactly Buckles did to gain his immense net worth. So as mentioned earlier, Buckles duped. Not a little, but a lot. There's plenty of evidence that supports this, as Dreop leaked the DMs between both of them and uploaded some video clips of that on YouTube. In this video, you can see Buckles is on the Dreop account, crashing a lobby and duping. And in this video, we can see that Buckles used a co-op salvage dupe to dupe 9 billion coins. And finally, in some leaked DMs between Buckles and Dreop, we can see that Buckles duped a ton of Infernal Vertexes for them to be sold on Bazaar to get his net worth. Here's even more evidence of him duping Vertexes, and you can see that he would profit 35 billion coins if he were to sell a stash. And finally, to top this all off, we can see he 100% duped Vertexes and sold on Bazaar from this YouTube video. To sell the Vertexes without being sussed out by people, Buckles turned the Vertexes into various items to sell to lowballers. And not only did he dupe Vertexes, he also duped items like Refined Mineral for them to be sold to NPC. On top of that, if you remember the bizarre crash done by Lil Dafty covered in this video by Hellcastle, you would know a ton of people profited from the crash and were banned. Buckles was one of the people coordinating it with Dafty to profit from those bizarre crashes, and he's yet to get banned and has profited billions from it. With those coins, he bought items like jerry boxes to get a forging 50, which is worth over 1.6 billion coins. Those jerry boxes are likely duped, but this is not the only instance of him buying duped items knowingly. And if you take a closer look at his profile, you can see that he has a ton of Chimera 5 items like Wither Blades, Daedalus Axe, Claymores, and Blaze Daggers. He also has tier 10 attribute items like a fully maxed out terror set with Dom 10 and Vitality 10, a 10-10 mana regen mana pool Aurora set, and a full veteran 10 set of crimson armor and equipment. Unsurprisingly, he did not get those items legit. After talking to Addicted2CBT, he told me Buckles purchased a ton of duped items from him, like Hypermax books and tier 10 attributes. He also showed me some DMs of Buckles asking him if the dupe was patched at that time. And he also threatened to find Addicted's address. I also found this kind of funny how Buckles said he has a clean history publicly, but now he does it. Besides buying duped items knowingly, Addicted also told me Buckles held onto a dead bush of love, a creative mind, and a builder's clay to boost his net worth. Those three items were IRL traded from Addicted for 3,500 US dollars using crypto. A person named Noth purchased those items for 3,500 and gave it to Buckles to boost his net worth. But unsurprisingly, Buckles holding onto those one of a kind items led to people being suspicious, and he was ultimately exposed. He would later return those items to Noth, and Noth would trade the clay for some exotics. So yeah, to conclude, almost the entirety of the Hu Teo profile is duped, and he's yet to get punished. I hope some admin is watching this, and will hopefully take action. But anyways, if you enjoyed, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll be uploading more in the following future, so subscribe and stay tuned. But for now, have a good one, and peace out.